In this video, we'll dive into the top eight essential angle theorems every math enthusiast must know. Let's get started. First up, the angle sum theorem. This tells us that the sum of the interior angles of any triangle is always 180 degrees. For all polygons, the sum of the interior angles can be found using the formula n minus two times 180, where n is the number of sides. For example, a triangle has three sides, therefore sum of angles inside a triangle is three minus two times 180, which is 180 degrees. Let's try an example. The polygon below has five sides, therefore the interior angles should add to give three times 180, which is 540 degrees. We can subtract all the known angles from 540 to find the unknown angle. In this case, the unknown angle would be 104 degrees. Supplementary angles are those angles that sum up to 180 degrees. Angles on a straight line are supplementary angles. For example, angle 120 degrees and angle 60 degrees. In the diagram below, angles X and Y are supplementary angles since they lie on a straight line. If angle X is 50 degrees, and we're asked to find angle Y. We can subtract 50 from 180 degrees, and we get 130 degrees. Vertical angles are formed when two lines meet each other at a point. They are always equal to each other. In other words, whenever two lines cross or intersect each other, four angles are formed. We can observe that the two angles that are opposite to each other are equal, and they are called vertical angles. They are also referred to as vertically opposite angles, as they lie opposite to each other. If a transversal intersects two parallel lines, the alternate interior angles are equal. This theorem plays a crucial role in proving parallelism and solving angle puzzles. Alternate angles are equal. Alternate angles are angles formed on the opposite sides when a transversal line intersects two parallel lines. For example, here are two parallel lines. Let's use a line to cut both parallel lines. The alternate angles are on opposite sides of the line, and they are equal. These angles are sometimes referred to as Z angles. The corresponding angles definition tells us that when two parallel lines are intersected by a third transversal line, the angles that occupy the same relative position at each intersection are known to be corresponding angles to each other. An isosceles triangle is a triangle that has two equal sides. Also, the two angles opposite the two equal sides are equal. In the isosceles triangle shown on the screen, we know that angles in a triangle add to give 180 degrees. We already have 30 at angle A. Therefore, 150 degrees must be shared equally between angles B and C. Divide 150 by two, and we get 75 degrees for each, since they are equal. The exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles. An exterior angle is formed by extending just one side of the triangle, as shown in the diagram. In the example given, the exterior angle X is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles. So X is equal to 64 plus 45, which is 109 degrees. Circles bring unique angle rules. For example, the angle at the center of a circle is twice any angle on the circumference subtended from the same chord. This is just one of many fascinating circle theorems. We will look at these theorems in a separate video. These theorems are the building blocks of geometry. Mastering them will unlock countless problem-solving opportunities and deepen your understanding of angles. Which of these theorems is your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more math adventures with Adobe Math Lab.